Hi, I'm Bobby Lloyd at Magnolia Bakery. Today we are going to make creamy vanilla icing for our red velvet cupcakes. Step one, you're going to take six tablespoons of all-purpose flour and put it in a small saucepan and very slowly add in, while whisking, two cups of milk. So and you want to whisk slowly because you don't want to get any lumps in your flour. And once you've got it all added in, we're going to put it on a low to medium high heat and whisking constantly. If you stop whisking, it will create a film on the bottom of the pan, so it's important to continue to whisk the entire time. But creamy vanilla icing is a very old-fashioned icing, and it's made in a different way than you might be used to. We've cooked our base, and you end up with this thick paste. You don't want to let it get too cool. Too cool will make your icing lumpy, and too warm will melt your butter. So I like to transfer from the pan into a metal bowl so I can continue to feel the temperature. So while that's cooling on your counter, you're going to take a pound of butter, which is two cups, and add that to your mixer. You want your butter to be at room temperature, not too hot. That's a mistake a lot of people make is their, their room will be warm. My kitchen's very hot at home. So I actually only take my butter out about 10, 15 minutes before I need it. And I cut it into chunks, about one half inch to an inch. And we're going to mix it and let it get soft and let the protein molecules expand for about three minutes. It's important that you constantly scrape the sides of your bowl. In many mixers, the beaters won't actually go down to the bottom of the bowl. So midway, I usually turn it off. And you can see we have a nice lump stuck to our beater. Just scrape it down and scrape the sides of your bowl. And you can see the color of the butter is starting to get lighter. It's not as yellow. It's getting a little whiter. We'll finish that off. Medium high speed on the mixer. We have two cups of sugar here. You want to add it about a tablespoon at a time. Well, we've spent um, three to five minutes incorporating air into our butter to lighten it and cream it. So you've increased the size of your molecules, your fat molecules. So adding the sugar slowly, and you continue to aerate it or keep it light. And when you get about halfway through your two cups of sugar, you're going to want to scrape down the sides of the bowl again. So we've just finished adding our two cups of sugar. And we're going to scrape this down again. And now, just before you add your base, we're going to add two teaspoons of vanilla. And just slow enough so it doesn't splash and hit you. And now you're going to add your base about a tablespoon at a time. As each one is incorporated, it'll take you about a minute to add the entire mixture. Just let it incorporate. It's not as heavy as a traditional buttercream, and it's not as sweet as a traditional buttercream. Yeah, I really haven't seen any other recipes like this, that you're using a flour and milk base, literally a paste, that you're adding to butter and sugar. So once you've incorporated all of your base, set it up to about a medium high. Once the icing's done, we're going to put it in a bowl. You want to put it in a refrigerator for about 10 to 15 minutes maximum, no more than that. Just helps to um, tighten it up a little bit so it doesn't slide off of your cake or your cupcakes. So. Nice, fluffy, creamy vanilla icing. After you take this out of the refrigerator in 15 minutes, you should use it right away. If you can't use it immediately, you want to make it in the morning and finish your cupcakes or your cake in the evening, just don't refrigerate it. Leave it out on the counter, put it in Tupperware, put a lid over it. You can hold it for about a day. This is Bobby Lloyd from Magnolia Bakery. Thank you so much for joining me today. Happy Valentine's Day.